What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks going back to Aquaria out in Bellevue, Washington with you today. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna show you the art of sabishi taught to me by Fiona, owner of Aquaria out there in Washington. I had an absolute awesome time with her. These are aquarium plants being affixed to lava rock in a beautiful uh, design way she's teaching us. And I'm super pumped to show you guys this new fun trick that I got to mess with out there. Yeah, I'm gonna Sorry, get down here. not supposed to be so loud in here. I feel like this is like a- This is a quiet place, place George. Yeah. And I absolutely love the fact, love the fact that she started this demo by making us take a 30 second pause. Keep in mind, I got in at like, you know, two o'clock my time the night before and ate everybody else's leftovers. So I absolutely needed some nature time and I absolutely wanted to learn something new and I absolutely needed a 30 second eyes closed, let's chill, let's play with some plants moment. And Fiona made us do that. Not until you shave your mustache. Well then I guess I'll just document it through my lens and. We'll That'd be awesome. Go, yeah. Just uh, tag team it. Whatever you guys want to do. All right. I'm starting the, the time lapse here. Thank uh, you, George. Sorry. Thank are you, you, are you going? No, you're good. Hey, are you going to be standing here teaching yeah. us? Uh, now, George, George uh, she's going to stand here. I can't. Here. I can't. It's just. Why don't we put it uh, like right here? I don't know. Okay. okay. Pick the lava rock. Pick the lava rock. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Has like a lovely. Mm. It's okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Fiona, the owner of uh, Aquaria. Uh, my English is very good. Uh, if you have any question, please raise your hand. <laughs> No problem. Uh, where are you from? Uh, what did you like about aquatic plants? I'm from Dallas as well. Federico actually sold me my first saltwater aquarium. And uh, I've always been on the saltwater side for so long that I started dipping into fresh water a couple of years ago. And I really like how um, earthy and natural these planting aquarium side is. So I'm, uh, it's kind of a new interest for me. So. My name is George. Uh, I started a YouTube channel on saltwater aquariums, and so I haven't. Uh, most people start with freshwater and then go to saltwater, and I guess somehow I ended up uh, not doing that yet. So, but I want to eventually retrace and go back and try that out. And I'd say the the main freshwater plant that interested me the most since day one with planted tanks was the baby, the dwarf baby tears, and also I really like the. Uh, how, how clean and crystal clear the water looks. My name is Dustin, and I only do plants. I only do plants in fish tanks. No salt, no cichlids, only plants. Wow. And when I was in college, I read Takashi Amano's book, Nature Aquarium. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can't believe this is how it possibly could go. And I've had planted tanks basically ever since then and I love everything about the whole Amano style and I've hosted aquascaping contests. I don't think I got a, a video clip of it or whatever, but uh, Fiona actually has her camera and we were talking about meeting Takashi Amano because I met him in 2008 at the AGA and she had uh, Takashi Amano sign the back of her camera in like 2012 and I was, or, or something like 2012 or 2008 and I was like, oh, was that when he was in Atlanta? And like, she kind of looked at me because that was when she met him in Japan. I quickly bit my tongue there, but I thought it was funny because she has a signed camera from Takashi Amano. May he rest in peace. Super excited. Mm -hmm. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Uh -huh. You uh, enjoy our workshop today. Thank you. For sure. Uh, we aquaria use moss as the base of aquatic plants in our design. Uh, let us know how to create our aquaria, aquaria style sabishi today. Sabishi. Sabishi. Sabishi always start with nature. This picture was taken. Uh, from my friend, it looks like a sabishi in nature. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Uh, here is the difference between uh, submerged and immersed plants. Uh, make submerged plants to immerse, it will take about two weeks to three months. Uh, some kind of aquatic plants only have flowers and uh, flowers are immersed. Today we prepare some immersed plants to use make sabishi. Like this one, you can uh -huh. see the purple <laughs> oh, flowers. Oh, flowers. Beautiful. Show the name. <laughs> and uh, how to make a sabishi? Uh, put plants on rock and make loot to feed on the rock. And put some moths uh, on loot top and use cotton thread to secure. After one month, the thread will melt and you can take it out after. Oh. And uh, in order to simulate environment like forest, where the stone line under the tree, we prepare some firm and crisp coring to look like they are grow growing under the tree. We recommend two to five kinds of aquatic plants. I want to emphasize something that she says here. She says we recommend uh, two to five types of aquatic plants. Uh, she did rocks that were just singular species. She had one with Utricularia gramnifolia, say that five times fast, and then in a couple others that were just like one or two species. And I think that's important for the natural look. I actually had her look over my shoulder at one point. I asked her for her opinion of what she thought about uh, my rock. She goes, how many plants do you have there? And I had three plants, but they just didn't look quite right. So we actually scaled it back to two. To the main plants. For the main aquatic plants, use odd number if under five. Okay. It's like odd number uh, if under five. Yes. We understand. It's like uh, ADA Iwagumi. Iwagumi, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Amano always used the odd number if under odd five. Odd number if yeah. under five? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's actually some reef Iwagumis. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. For plants combination, aquatic plants have four types of leaf shapes, uh, leaf rounded, uh, clover, uh, long leaf types. Before create a sabishi, please take 30 seconds to clamp your heart and close your eyes and take a deep breath. Yeah. This is why. Make the make made thirty seconds of silence. You couldn't be. My phone would have rang my phone. It's pretty loud. Yeah. 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 Those are so fat. Okay. Oh. So believe it or not, I've actually studied uh, meditation before Chinese art of qigong, which means energy work. Uh, in order to calm myself down, I know you're shocked to hear that. And with like being around Fiona and being in her tiny little shop that's like so precise and so just like very feng shui, very soothing, and then going through this process with her with all of these aquarium plants and planting them and how to plant them and her critiquing them, I literally just wanted to do like an entire apprenticeship underneath her, just like following her around and learning this. I mean, obviously her English isn't great as she admits, but just like the art and the, the flow and the connection that she has with nature is super apparent by obviously all of her great aquascapes as well as her uh, teaching all of this to us. I mean, look at the plates, look at the design, look at how everything is on slate. It's just mwah. What about lighting? Lighting, uh, they need sunlight. Okay. So put them close to the window. window. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Looking good. And temperature? Temperature, if mm -hmm. indoor, uh, you indoors. don't need to pay okay. the temperature. And it's a very good season for Wabi Kusa because uh, they they have flowers in spring and spring summer. Perfect. Easy. I could do that. 
Thank you so much. Yeah, this is wonderful. And thank you for coming to our workshop today. Thank you. Thank you.